What's up, YouTube? It's Jake from JP Trading Cards here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Naruto discussion, and this is explaining my favorite Jutsu, and that is the Chidori. If you guys, if you guys have not seen my top five Jutsu video, definitely go check that out. I will leave um, probably a like annotation at the end of the video or a card at the beginning of the video to. Uh, the direct link for my top five sword jutsus, but this video is going to be broken down into who uses it, you know, some backstory on that, explaining the actual technique itself, and then also some variations. Diving into the three points, starting off with who uses it. Obviously, Kakashi is the first one to use it when he tried to put his lightning release into. Uh, Minato's Rasengan, and then ultimately, like the Chidori is made, just you know, the Rasengan part of it didn't work or whatever. And then, the, basically, the definition of the Chidori is that it's a high concentration of lightning chakra channeled around the user's hand. I think the animation for it just looks epic. Then, um, obviously, so, uh, Ka well, Kakashi taught it to Sasuke before um, the Sasuke Gar fight in the tuning museums. And when Sasuke first uses the Jutsu, it's, you know, one of my favorite episodes of all time. Um, then going into the technique itself more, another name for it is 1000 Birds because of the sound it makes. The Chidori, when used, you, um, like the animation of it, you get a, a basically just bir a bird's chirping sound, which uh, is really cool, um, you know, when the user uses it. And then there is, to use the technique, you need incredible speed. And that's why Sa or Kakashi had Sasuke use, um, like, his Sharingan to imitate Lee's speed in Taijutsu because he needed to be that fast to perform the Chidori. But the downside of that is you end up getting tunnel vision, which Minato tells Kakashi that that you know the jutsu is too dangerous to use because of the tunnel vision you can't see anything around you but the sharingan since you can read uh, your opponent's moves counteracts that issue making it an incredibly powerful jutsu so you know obviously kakashi and sasuke both obtaining or both uh, having the sharingan you know allows them to use this jutsu at full power then um in the beginning it also did say that using the chidori along with the sharingan uh takes up a ton of chakra i forget the exact amount of time sasuke could use it and then kakashi said his as well but during the uh, shippuden era and then especially towards the end of shippuden you know they're just using it you know at will at, so who knows what uh actual like chakra the combo uses up i'm assuming it's a lot just for it being such a powerful jutsu and all but that's kind of you know the main points i want to hit on obviously it's a uh lightning release technique because you know lightning flashes everywhere so obviously that um and then yeah so then going on to the variations you obviously have the chidori you have Kakashi's lightning blade, as he calls it. You have the black Chidori, which is when Sasuke uses the Chidori with the curse mark. The stage two with the uh, um, Naruto Sasuke fight, which is you know one of the best fights of all time. You have the Susano Chidori, which um, is really epic too. Just Sasuke Susano using Chidori. You have Blaze Release or Amaterasu Chidori. Where Sasuke coats the Chidori in Amaterasu, which, you know, Sasuke is just ridiculous at that point. You have the Chidori Senban, the Chidori uh, Sharp Spear, you have the Lightning Cable, and then with Six Paths Power, Sasuke has Onyx Chidori. So that's kind of it for, you know, what the Chidori is. Kind of reiterate some of the main points that I went over in five minutes. Kakashi and Sasuke use it was meant to be Kakashi learned to uh, use Rasengan, but ended up being Chidori. It requires incredible speed, 
the Sharn Gun completes the Jutsu, and there's a ton of epic variations to the Jutsu, and I think Sasuke, Sasuke elevated the Jutsu to a absolutely ridiculous level with all the variations, and that's why it's one of my favorite Jutsus for those variations, and overall just the epicness of the Jutsu itself. But that's going to be it for the video and explaining the Chidori in hopefully around five minutes. Give you a, a quick uh, quick facts and everything. But if you guys like the video, show some love, smash the like button. If you have any questions, comment them down below or any points to add that I may have forgotten. Of course, smash the like button, smash that subscribe button, and Jake is out.